Let's try this again. Hello, here we are on Tombstones, and we're late to the party a little bit. Doing some uh, chatting about silly builds with Corbo in the lobby waiting room. And we've got just a normal stack v stack game. Team 1, ANS, Beef, Polymorphous, Neuroids, Spadicey, and Wesley Snipes. Team 2, OSP, Warclops, Crow, Dramus, and Xenophon. We've dropped down here with Xenophon. A lot of bulkers on this team. Goodness. Xenophon's got... Close to the screen here, I can't tell the difference between the 56 and the 65. Because they decided to troll me. Alright, that's the uh, 250 bulk freighter with a uh, locking radar and some point defense, as well as a missile backpack. Interesting. One MLS2. Oh, that's probably for uh, kill droids. Yeah, four of them. Gotta be. One plasma 100 bulk freighter. And then four gun and AMM shuttles. With, oh, they got, okay, so Chaff and AMM. The enemy is securing zone boxer. Dramus is rocking triple bulkers, one plasma 100, one 250 point defense, and another 250 point defense. Crow's got the enemy is plasma the and 250 as well, goodness. And one bloodhound monitor. The enemy is securing zone Warclops has an anchor acello, 450, with some point defense on it, and one VLS too. Is that also probably going to have kill droids in it? And then. One 450 100 monitor and three. Two rocket shuttles and one jam and rocket shuttle. Cat presence. Nice, nice. Beef rocking trick bull fighting voxels. Greeting on the point defense a little bit to take some jammers. On the voxels themselves. This is a really good and dangerous build, and he's pretty good with it, so uh, let's we'll see how this goes. Polymorphous bringing two beam and S2 destroyers. That's interesting, because these clearly want to fight. These aren't like the missile destroyers that come. also have beams. These are with the PD they've got. They want to fight, and they have missiles. The and one Pinard point defense up. Brigade. ANS has one ship going towards Alpha, but it is the getting shot at. Let's see, Snipes has a gun battleship with a beam backpack. Some point defense, a few rebounds, a few defenders, and one comms jammer on it, which is pretty neat to see on a battleship. And also two little scout frigs. Oh, this is interesting. One Mark 64 and one Sarissa, both with bullseyes and defenders. One Sarissa. Very few missiles in this game for either team. So I think the uh, battleship's going to be fairly safe with its less than great point defense setup. But I see's yeah, there's also all defenders and aim oh I did not I just completely missed but I see's wait here. Whoops. We've got a what is this? 250 beam and uh VLS3 Axford with AMMs on it. It's got torpedoes and hybrids. Along with one, two, three, four map presence sprinters. With torpedoes and guns. That's... I don't know how you have the points for this. With 16 missiles on the back of this? Very impressive. Pretty decent damage control on this as well. I guess no stone walls is where it's at. It's all the defenders and then the dirt cheat 20mm slugs are what's doing it. In the meantime, OSP has captured their naturals and the middle point. What is this? This is just some... whatever this is. ANS is. They don't really have anything that can go on to Alpha, but they are challenging what's on there right now. Let's see if we do a little sprinter. Glonk, glonk, glonk. That's dead. 
Now oh, this is uh, Zpero Stellar. Ocello getting in a fist fight with the voxels up top, and it is very much going to lose that. Especially with this angle. Voxels getting in some good hits into the command stack and into the drive, and that's going to add up real quick. Turn into Battle Tank, but the Battleship is over here as well, is going to be able to fight, and the Axford. Just a little bit. There we go. Had uh, had a pretty long run of testing videos with my music being way too loud, which was quite unfortunate. So uh, trying trying very desperately to avoid that <laughs> right now and in the future. Cicello getting ruined by the voxels. How are the voxels feeling in return? Uh, one of the middle's taking some damage. One of the sides are fine, of course. One in the middle being the jamming one. Really don't want to be losing that. Oh, my Spadicey's gonna come up here in his beam Axford. And ruin someone's day. He's got two FPAs on this, a couple ammo elevators. Yeah, this thing's dangerous, and it has torpedoes on the back side. Oh, pardon. But I don't think it has. The enemy is securing zone I don't think it has any extra programming channels, other than what's on the extra by default. Here's the monitor. Beam's turning. Beam has already fired, apparently. He must have fired it for just a half second and had to recycle it. Uh, yeah. OSP in their spawn. Being defensive. And, uh, giving up way too much map presence. As a result of that, is what Corbo, Corbo is talking about. Yeah, that's something else. They don't have any WRs. They have capping ships, but they don't have like a map presence fleet. So they don't they don't really know about all this. I mean, we we can look up the sensor settings right now, and uh, battleships on the radar, and a couple of sprinters are on the radar, and that's about it. Flip side, basically the entire OSP team has been seen. Not good, not good. There goes another shuttle. You really can't afford to lose any of these. It's Axford trying desperately to get his beam onto that Acello. And his monitor getting obliterated. Cell is gonna come up on this other side and probably get obliterated in turn by oh my those are beam destroyers. Yeah. They're getting turned. These things have dragonflies in them. Oh yeah. They're firing missiles and the assault point defense is immediately defeating those out of the tubes. It's also still eating voxel fire. There are the beams. Uh, they're not able to stay on the Acello. <laughs> oh, that's rough. They're trying desperately to get the target, but they just can't. It's too close. Crow's getting torped at point blank from the... Oh my god. The very quickly dying Axford. Yeah, unfortunately, no pavis on this. Just uh, AMMs and grape for point defense. It's going to die very fast, very hard. These torpedoes, oh my goodness. In the drive section and in the command stack. Downs a lot of the guns as well. That yeah, bulk freighter's in real bad shape. And the expert on the flip side is not doing amazing, but it's not in anywhere near as bad shape as the Plasma Wall Critter. 
eating fire from a bunch of ships. And if ANS overcommits like this one at a time instead of as a group, then they will be able to... Uh, OSP, excuse me, will be able to maybe get something done, won't just collapse, fall over to wait a fire from ANS. Especially now that they've got all the bulkers facing this direction. If those voxels pop over the top, they're going to get devoured by 215 and plasma. And battleships holding range, firing 450 downfield, doing decent damage. I don't think I have. They do have Vox. Okay. Axford's going down now. Voxels are still standing off and fighting. Trying to dump some damage down the field without getting completely obliterated by all these bulk freighters. Uh, but during all of this, ANS has managed to capture... Well, they got three points. They've lost Alpha, but they grabbed Delta, and they're probably going to be able to hold on to it at least for a little while with their current angling. I think Cello has gotten destroyed. Ah, the beings have come through here and torn that to shreds. Now the ENS and OSP are both in a weird spot. They have this. Both teams have most of their forces in this just bloody, bloody brawl here on Delta. Looks like they're focusing on the battleship. <coughs> About that. Oh, well, the plasma is firing on the battleship. The 250 is still firing on the voxels. Okay, that's a good play. It's really hard to get lands on voxels with plasma, even though plasma will cause some big trouble for them. Yeah, roasting the uh, port side of this battleship is pretty huge, especially with its current angling. And its drive setup's kind of weird. This could be able to turn at a decent rate. Dragonfly Raider, Whiplash. Big drag, little whip. Gonna mean its rotation isn't horrible. The enemy is securing zone attack. Just Mike Corbo is getting torped, but the Pavis is able to one single Pavis able to handle this torp attack very effectively. Oh, and the uh, AMM's probably helping with that as well. Okay, there's another Pavis in arc now. 250 shots. For those of you who uh, may not be reading chat because you're standing up, walking around, doing whatever else. Corpus saying that Dramus is bringing a capping liner onto Charlie. And this, he is. He's going to be able to cap that point. And OSP recapping Delta with a liner push from Crow, Dramus. Xenophon's over here, too? Yeah. They take both those points. They're only down by 40 right now. If they take both of those, they'll catch that lead up real quick. Some beams. Oh, my. Dramus getting beams quite brutally. It's not going very well, though. Beams struggling very desperately. Get good lands. I don't think these have very many FPAs either. We got one. Uh, yeah. That's eh, not enough. So, one FPA on probably both of these. Okay, this has. No, this also just has one. Yeah. So, even though the beams did scan the back end of the Azerite here, it didn't take horrible, horrible damage. And the ANS with this huge commitment onto Delta. The enemy secured zone I think Warclops is gonna fly this half alive a cello on a Bravo. Okay, now it dies, it dies. Alright, it's got the Pinard 
bring it out here. Near the withdrawal line. And look at this. This is this is a pub match. This is what this is. Even though this is stack v stack, this is very silly. Both teams just having this huge fight over one point. But, uh, really, we we played some tournament games today, and uh, I casted those, and those have already been posted by the time that you're watching this. And that was a very different experience than this. <laughs> Sprinter is dying very quickly. It's got a bullseye on it, so that's definitely a problem. Be still trying and successfully killing bulk freighters up on Delta with his DPS fleet. <laughs> Probably gonna switch soon to the Bohemite. These voxels are in pretty dang good health, and nah, it's the only one that's taken that much damage and it's lost. One of its radar panels, a birthing, a rapid, and a couple thrusters. It's fine. Still has maximum damage potential. And that's very dangerous on a voxel. But on the Volk Fredder eating quite a few shots. Flops him in, goes <laughs> down to a couple missiles. One of those destroyers. And ANS just has nothing on the map that isn't on Delta. Fighting over Delta, rather. They, they have to kill everything over here and then split for caps. That's the only way they're going to win at this point. I don't really see that happening. Not with all these bulk freighters. Yeah, the real question is... Why is my nib audio not playing? Oh, there we go. Which wasn't zoomed in close enough. Indeed, a good old-fashioned Coliseum bloodbath, that's for sure. Both teams just clobbering the absolute shit out of each other. Bolmite dies to the voxels and the beams very quickly. There's another beam coming in. And ANS might be able to pull it off. They're uh, down 100 points and only have one out of the five cap points. But if they just come through here and slam all of this and then break apart and take all the cap points, then it, it doesn't matter that they don't have that good control right now. That's exactly what's happening. These voxels are leading the charge very effectively. Where's the battleship gone in all this? Ah, oh, I see. He's gone to cover. It's not helping the team. That's unfortunate. Probably backing off to repair, but they really need that fire getting down the field. One destroyer gets torn to smithereenies. Next one's the one behind it's probably going to be followed up shortly. Oh, both have their beam turrets knocked down or beam. Uh... Oh no. One's got it out, one's got it oranged. Might have been great for a second there and it got re upped. I think you're right, Corvo. It does look like it's heading down towards Alpha. But it's going to take a while for it to get there and oh my, the second it reveals itself. Gonna start eating plasma. T50 bulk fritter blasting the other destroyer. Takes out its beam cannon and both the VLS 2s.
tries to get the beam on the diaspora, but fails. And tries again. It's trying to get the angle, just can't quite get it. Ah. No power would do it. Meanwhile, Beef tearing apart the entire rest of the OSP's team. Starting to eat some plasma fire, though. It's going to make the battle tanking significantly less effective. <coughs> yeah, there's 100 mils coming in, not bouncing, getting lands. Very painful. Voxel's getting each other's way a little bit. Like one of the destroyers is dead. Battleship's eating a ton of plasma. No follow up though. And the bulk freighter that could follow up is uh, on the wrong side. Aha! He's moved it around though. Needs to get it rotated. Yeah, so he fired a volley off the destroyer and he's rotating it now. I have support to get these barrels on down to the uh, Scout Corvette. <laughs> this is what this thing is. Uh, which is almost cute. And if he can get 250 fire into this extremely plasmaed up port side, it would be huge. Voxel's doing the damnedest to only fight one laner at a time. Uh, looks like they've killed most of the other ones. It's just the Gizmo remaining, the Plasma ship, and the Azerite, which is also a Plasma vessel. Ooh. Can't fight Voxels or battleships with none of the Plasma. OSP down to three Plasma bulk freighters, one 250 bulk freighter. A couple shuttles. We got two 250 bulk freighters. Oh, but one is extremely beat up. One Bloodhound monitor. And that's it. ANS has three very healthy voxels. One very unhealthy destroyer. And one very bruised. Seen very a lot. Battleship. Anus can definitely win this, but it's got to be extremely close, and those voxels need to split and cap like right now. Anus is 300 points behind, and OSP is 300 points away from the victory. Getting Delta again with one of the destroyers, which is going to be fired on from everything under the sun and probably die immediately. Battleship, the Scout Corvette doing its job, capping Battleship on Alpha. Taking both at the same time. Forcing, oh boy. Leon. Forcing OSP to focus one over the other. There goes War Class Man. I think died forever ago. One slow cook off. Christopher Robin. Oh, wasn't the other one Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, amazing. I just now noticed this. It's this thing's weird. <laughs> Very cute. Good names. Plus one. And S caps Delta and Alpha. The enemy secured zone atlas. Unbelievable. Destroyer just not dying because it's got two reinforced DC lockers and one reinforced CIC right in the middle. 
That's being shot mostly with plasma. Just a little bit of 250. And all that 250 was HE, it's just not enough to kill the ship. Meanwhile, Beef continuing to tear apart one bulk freighter after another. He swapped off the plasma bulk freighters and focusing on the 250, recognizing that plasma can't really finish anything off. It doesn't have the damage. He's firing AP at it, though, for some reason. I'm not sure what the deal is with the 250. I love AP. to spray my grape with little bat at things. Corbeau catching. My beef is mixing AP and AG. The enemy secures Use the AG the for the damage and then switch to AP to punch out components that are redded. So you don't have what happens to the uh, destroyer. I don't know how much I trust that to work because 100 mil AP only does 25 damage. He's using 250. I'm at it. G and AP has always been a good idea on capital ships. I think Beef's using a little too much AP. It is, it is hard to see. To get a good read on what your opponent's health is. It's working though. Snipes getting a little 450 into one of the plasma bull critters. ANS is steadily killing off the OSP team, but they're not going to be able to kill them all in time. OSP only 80 points out from the win. <clears throat> Of course, if you lose 100% of your combat capability, the enemy is securing zone combat. then you will just lose the game. Doesn't matter what the points are. Anas can get more time. They might be able to win this. Oh, uh, no way. Right? Not at this point. The voxels are starting to take some hits from the 250 bulkers and the 100 plasma bulkers. And now it has its firing capability degraded uh, significantly. It's lost a couple of post mo buff modules and a gun and a locking radar, which the whole fleet needs. They need a locking radar. Well, at this range, I guess need is a little strong, but it's very useful. And the nail is also now taking damage. Down a reactor, which is gonna lose. Uh, it's gonna lose a bunch of capability losing that reactor. These are probably dropable drive. Dragonfly and a normal drive. Or Dragon Whip. Is that the combo I'm seeing on these? Yeah. This has a dragon and a reactor. Oh, this is. I don't know about Dragonfly's Chief. This is a pretty old build that he's using. So I'm uses these ships over the summer, and I'm pretty sure they've existed since before that. So this is like six, seven month old build that hasn't been tweaked. No way this wins this. Oh my god, is the Scout Corvette gonna get onto Echo and Cap it? 
No way, I'm gonna lose my mind. It's so close. The alert cool. This shuttle can dump onto the point. No, and I don't think the battleship has enough time to get on the point and cap the point. But if it does, the game is over. Or OSP could just run out of ships. That was right. the last ship on the map, I think, with any offensive capability now that the alert cool is getting beamed and downed. Crow's Crow's bulk freighter only has AMMs and chaff on it. ANS has 20 seconds, I think, to uh, end this game. I don't know what the actual tick rate of things are. All they gotta do is kill this bulk freighter. All they gotta do is kill this bulk freighter and they win, but there's nothing in range. The battleship has moved off. It's trying to cap Alpha or Echo. It's not gonna be able to. The voxels don't have enough damage and they're not at the right facing to finish this off. Oh my fucking god. That came down to the wire. And I feel so bad. <laughs> Battle over Snipes halfway through capping carried. Echo just didn't have the chance. Azurite hold it on. That was a very high damage game. Beef pulling out, what is that, like 55,000 damage? Yeah, we got two 20s and a 14. <laughs> Everything's dead. Everything's dead. That was pretty close. <laughs> 22 on these beam destroyers 11 on the axe for 31,000 on the battleship wait we could have won if we just killed that last ship last bulk yep. freighter yep. Yep. that was the last was it? thing oh, it was I shooting was uh, three big boxes ass. in the ass or, oh, beef in the ass. ass I'd like to apologize I completely threw that game I just want to take a moment to appreciate that the battleship got to almost 10k damage repaired. Yeah, I that thought that was in much worse shape, shape than it actually was. Well, the that's, thrusters were all fucked. That's better than the, like, one week that the battleship had extra repair threshold. <laughs> Because those games oh are usually seeing like 8k repaired on the battleship, so that's actually extremely impressive. <laughs> what a game. I think it's because that one liner was just peppering it for the longest time, and it could repair past just the one liners of damage while it was just yeah. getting plinked. Well, it's eating plasma damage. Plasma the whole yeah. game. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Speaking of which, I did. 6k damage with just plasma, which I think is pretty good. Nice. I think that factored into my repair. <laughs> I think yeah. we were farming our repair and damage numbers there. Uh -huh. yeah, extremely yeah. high damage, very brutal game. Average Colosseum bloodbath. Yeah. I feel bad because I just got rolled in the first 10 minutes, so my enemy team worked on top of me. Yeah, so Corvo was talking about this earlier. Um, but OSP falling into kind of the classic mistake of not having any sort of sensor warfare gaming, no EWRs and no MMTs for scouting, just a couple of shuttles. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. we kind of was knew going that going MMTs. in. We were yeah. debating like whether... That was on purpose. Yeah. That was on purpose. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it worked it out... Why not just bring seven liners and an Acello? Why not? You know, we can. It worked out. I mean, it resulted in a bloodbath, so that's fun. Yeah. I think part of the thing that saved Gills was poor beam destroyers could never get to target. I mean, they did a lot of damage with their missiles. Yeah. But that would have been better what with just we... more missiles and no beam. <laughs> <laughs> they did, they did 10k damage with the beam between them. Yeah. They're what put the nail in the coffin on the Acello, more or less. But... True. That Acello yeah. was hey, going I for got that a new, new question. Did 
Did something change with the last update as far as aiming missiles? Because I can't aim them for shit anymore, as you could see in this game. No. Like, those were my, my beam missile DDs. And, like... No, nothing changed. I Maybe I just suck at aiming, which I do. On the missile foot. Yeah, I'm gonna close this house. And then I'll try to get can, good. Uh, get going on a new one. There was that game. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. See you in the battle space. Good night.